Hey, what's up everybody? Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to add patterns as well as switch between patterns in FL Studio for a super fast workflow. Before we do that, um, I just wanna quickly share that um, version 2.1 of my Oxygen Pro Premium preset allows you to also now switch between patterns as well. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. If you're wanting to learn FL Studio, check out the three exclusive videos I have for you. You can get them by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash FL Studio. I hope to see you inside. All right, so here is how you add a pattern in FL Studio as fast as possible. But again, watch till the end of this tutorial and you are gonna learn the fast workflow. That is what you always learn with me is a fast workflow, okay? But here is how you do it as fast as possible. All you have to do is just click the plus right here in the pattern and you just can quickly name your pattern such as like piano, click it again. You can go like a guitar. And as you can see, you click the drop down. Now you have two patterns, okay? Now you can see down here, you can also insert a pattern such as by going insert one so let's just say base so essentially this insert one and the keyboard shortcut is that but you can also click here to do that also i'll point you just to these options right here these are how you find empty patterns really quick but doing it this way is quite slow if you want to learn the fast way keep watching till the end of the tutorial and i promise you you will learn all about the number pad and why it's so important in fl studio to switch between your patterns okay so the first thing to say is that most um, tutorials nowadays are people are using the panel picker and what this allows you to do is let's say we have a pattern in here we come here we add another pattern another pattern okay and I'm just using my number pad for that the plus and the minus okay I personally don't really like the the pattern picker I personally choose to disable it and the reason is because it gives more screen real estate and it's just a better workflow once you know the keyboard shortcuts okay so to add a pattern all you have to do is click right here all right, and you can see that you can uh, find first empty, you can find next empty. I actually don't use those. I just like to use my number pad, the minus and the plus. We're on pattern one, we're on pattern two, pattern three, pattern four. And as you can see, I'm just going through it nice and fast. Let's just load up the project from the previous tutorial where uh, we were talking about how to compress drums in FL Studio. You can, you, you, I'll leave the link in the description if you would like to check that out. Um, so you can see that if I'm going to go through my patterns, I actually didn't name these, but you can see that as I go through each pattern, right? So this is the piano. Okay, go to the next pattern. This is a drum, right? That video was all about compressing drums. Here's some bell sounds. So I'm just hitting the plus on my number pad and it goes through these patterns so fast, all right, all right? Once you learn about this, I'm telling you that it allows you to arrange your song super fast. If we come over here, all you do is you hit one, okay? You can select right here, go two, add it in. You add three, go four, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you can keep going through your different patterns. And this is how fast it is to add your patterns in, in FL Studio, okay? So uh, that's pretty much this tutorial. You wanted to know how to add patterns in. So how FL Studio works is um, you can just add a new pattern, even though it says 12. So let's just go uh, to 12. And 12 is these claps. All right, if I hit the plus on my number pad, we go to 13, there's nothing in here. You can go to 14, 15, 16, and I'm just hitting the plus on my number pad, okay? Um, so you can use the number pad approach and if you don't have a number pad, for example, if you have a keyboard that doesn't have the number pad, or if you have a laptop and you don't have a number pad, I would suggest purchasing a USB number pad. I'm telling you, when you use FL Studio, very, very fast workflow, okay? And since I have this window open, the next one I'll share with you is F2. That's one you wanna learn as well, okay? So F2 allows you to relabel a pattern. As you can see, it pops up just in a little window like that. Let's just say we say hi-hats. We're gonna see that in here, it'll change to hi-hats. All right, so there's hi-hats right there. And if I hit F2 again, so again, you can select a different color by clicking here, or I usually like to hit F2 to give it a random color. So like, let's just say uh, like that color. And then like I was saying, so um, version 2.1 of the um, Audio Oxygen, Oxygen Pro Premium preset now allows you to switch between patterns. As you can see, we, you can do it from right here. 
but for me personally, I like to just use my number pad, okay? So you can see right here, uh, this is my number pad. I just use the plus and the minus, and then I also added that feature into the MIDI keyboard uh, just for an improved workflow, okay? So if you guys have any questions, you feel free to reach out anytime at itsgratuitous.com. All right, so thanks for checking out the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.